Hey guys, it's TMF Style. I'm Jose Zaniga, and for this week's video, we're going to be discussing the one thing you need to keep your shoes looking great. Now, it doesn't matter if you got $60 Alden shoes or $600 Alden shoes. The last thing we want to see is having one hard wrinkle on our shoes. That completely destroys what we just invested so much into. Well, like wrinkles, there are many other deformities that both take away from just the beauty and the aesthetics of a brand new beautiful shoe and also speeds up that whole deterioration process of the shoe thus making the life of the shoe shorter. Just to give you some quick examples, we're talking about shoe deformation, water or sweat stains, the hard wrinkles I was talking about, and then most of all or worst of all, bacteria buildup that leads to horrible orders that make the shoes almost unwearable. Well, the great thing is that all these horrible things can be combated with one single item. Now, of course, there is a whole plethora of things you can do to maintain and take well care of your shoes. And I did a whole video on that above me. But there's one thing, the one thing that if you had to do nothing else or you're too lazy to do anything else, this is the one thing you do need to do. And that is invest in shoe trees. Even if it's only you buy one pair, but a shoe tree can completely rejuvenate the life of your footwear and also elongate it. Before we proceed into the benefits of shoe trees and why you need them, we want to give a quick shout out to a brand named Mass Drop. They were nice enough to send over the shoe trees you're going to be seeing. As you see, these are wood lore shoe trees. And if you know anything about shoe trees or have looked into shoe trees, you know that these guys are the best at what they do. Mass Drop, the company that sent these over, is doing tremendous things. These guys are honestly killing it. They have a community of over 2 million men. And how it works is kind of like a crowdfunding type of platform where you buy things in bulk. What this does is that it gives you access to amazing brands at even better prices. I'll give you a quick example. These shoe trees from Woodlore that you're seeing, you can get at their site two pairs for $40. If you go on Woodlore, Dot com and look at these exact same shoe trees, you can get one pair at Woodlore for $30. So you get some crazy rebates by buying with a bunch of people in bulk. So check them out, I have them linked below. And of course, they have a lot of products they have for the tech guy, the EDC guy, the fashion guy. I'll have them linked below so you guys can check them out and also link these shoe trees because they're having a really good sale where you can get two pairs for basically just $20 each. And these are the premium shoe trees. So now let's get into the video. All these negative things that can happen to leather shoes that I just spoke about can be all fought off with a good pair of shoe trees. Let's talk about the most obvious one, avoiding wrinkles. That's the one all of us want to do. It gets sucky. The more, I mean, I hate when I buy a new pair of shoes and the first thing I see on the first day is this huge hard wrinkle from walking. Well, the one thing that really changed that around for me was starting to use shoe trees. This is very important. And I mean, you'll hear this from countless of people. Google it if you want. Shoe trees are very important because what happens is what you want to do, this is, this is my schedule. If I wear a shoe all day, I immediately, as soon as I get home, I put a shoe tree in and I leave it a whole, at least one whole day with the shoe trees in it. This, what this does is it absorbs any moisture and stretches out the leather, avoiding or at least reducing any hard wrinkles. The second thing, and probably one of the most important, is reducing bad orders. Now, sweating is a natural thing. All of us guys do it and there's no way to stop it. But letting sweat build up in your shoe, that is dangerous because that just makes it a breeding ground for bacteria that in return is what causes the horrible smells. Now you can add powder to your shoes. There was a, a, a moment in time where I would do that. The problem is if you have done that before, the powder gets everywhere. The shoes, after using them a while, the shoes literally get coated in powder. Don't ask me how. I mean, I guess it just comes out the eyelets and stuff. But so I stopped doing that. And a shoe tree does that naturally for you. The cedar wood actually absorbs any of the sweat, any of the moisture that builds up from using the shoe day to day. This cuts down any bacteria that can build up because it's taking away any of the moisture. And then on top of that, if you've ever had a good pair of cedar shoe trees, these things smell really, really good. So when it comes that you're gonna use that shoe and you take the cedar shoe trees out, you get this very nice aroma and your shoes actually smell fresh instead of stinking. And then finally, the last thing is deformity. 
the thing is that a lot of a lot of guys we all have you know unusual foot shapes and stuff and just for ways that we walk we tend to deform leather leather being a natural hide over time tends to soften and starts to shape the foot of the wear how the wearer walks and if you have for example i have flat feet so my shoes for some odd reason tend to like like sweep inwards i don't even know i, I can't even describe it it's really weird but what shoe trees do is that it kind of helps return the shoe to its original silhouette like i mentioned in the beginning a shoe tree made for the size of the shoe stretches out the leather then it dries it from any moisture and the leather dries back in its original silhouette instead of just letting them sit there all deformed so shoe trees also really do help in keeping the shoe just looking aesthetically pleasing overall so that's basically it i mean these three things are basically the killers of any good shoe the great thing is that you only need to know one tactic to defeat them all and that's a good shoe tree